squad is just bringing a straight from my heart for me because that's what I do. Bring you some Battlefield 4 beta if you haven't already got it. You check on your dashboard and play the game for yourself. Here I am, I'm unlocking the RFB. It's the third sniper rifle to the last. Um, you only get four sniper rifles in Battlefield beta. This is a single shot. I have the um, angled grip, which is basically like a reduction. It's like a reduction grip. Now, you will notice that uh, I did do a review on my channel, how I felt about the game in general. If you want to go over there, you're more than welcome on Fisticuffs. You can check it out. Now, there is an under railing grip. No, a long barrel grip. So, basically, long barrel and the angle grip is, is basically like... Um, uh, it's basically like a, it's basically like a grip which reduces recoil, and then the other one is uh, like for strafing, and, and aiming down the sights and and moving while uh, at long range. I forgot what they call it in in Call of Duty. Uh, shit, it's on the fucking top of my head. I can't think of it. Anyways, you know what it is. That one that you can move really fast while you're standing still. Or not standing still, while you're walking. You can walk faster while you It's basically what it is into a nutshell. Um, the one thing I noticed that they didn't do in this uh, version is they, or during beta, is not have the silencer on. And I think they did that because they didn't want to hear people bitching about how powerful these weapons would be. Um down the road you know after beta because beta battlefield 3 beta when you had the mk11 and the mk10 mods with the silencers on them they were fucking deadly i mean they're like one two shots you're you're like and you were dead you know what i mean you were dead you're dead you're <laughs> but this thing i mean this thing with headphones on it i mean like i said i did my overall review I do not like the engine or the design engine or the engineering or the philosophy of of this engine. That's the one thing I hate the most about this game. You know, you want to put your finger on something. I did a whole thing about it on the Fisticuffs channel. You want to put your finger on one thing. It's how stupid and jerky the movements are when you're trying to aim at somebody and kill them. I don't know anybody in real life that can move like that. And I don't care if it's a video game, it's retarded because it takes away, you know, you aiming at somebody and it working. I mean, you aim at somebody, they're like, it's like their feet are connected to a big ass ball and they fucking rotate in, in, in uh, 45, degree, 45 degree angles at any given second. They could be like leaning forward 45 degree angle and then flip all the way backwards to a 45 degree angle and you're like... What the fuck? I mean, am I fighting a fucking bowling pin or what? You know, upside down bowling pin. That's the best I could describe it as. I mean, you want to put your finger on it. I couldn't really, I couldn't figure it out what it was. It was because they're using the FIFA engine. A third person trying to be a first person shooter. They fucking like, oh my God, the FIFA engine is so fucking amazing. It's just got to work on the battlefield. No, it doesn't work. When you shoot somebody with a bullet, they don't fucking sit there and run faster and all kinds of shit. No. You get shot, you go down. Your body doesn't have, like, some kind of super fucking, like, drugs being pumped into them and going all psycho and fucking flopping all over the place. It's such fucking ridiculous. The, the way, you know, the animations are the way they run. The animations to the fact that the way bullets hit them and they're fucking flopping all over the place, the way they die. I mean, you shoot them, and then and it's like the continuation. Like, let's say you're running really fast and you shoot somebody, and they fucking just keep pshoom, and their body keeps flying. You're like, what the fuck is that? Look, you get shot, you should go down. There shouldn't be none of this jerky animation. I mean, you want to put your finger on it? That's what it is. That's why this game isn't a fucking mega hit. It's, it, the reason people buy this game is the fact that they're irritated with Call of Duty. So they justify their anger with this game. It's not because it's good. It's fucking engine is terribly broken design. That's the facts. I don't give a fuck. It is my opinion. So what? It's facts to me. And that's why in a millions and millions of other, other of us, other people choose Call of Duty over this. I mean, that's just plain and simple. And it's not nothing to have to do with the beta. It's, 
beta or the fucking PC or the Xbox One. No, this is the game design and the philosophy. This is what you see now. This is what you're going to see on the PC. Yeah, the graphics may change a little bit. Granted. Granted. But it's, 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 it's fucking your character flip-flopping and looking like a fucking fish every time you shoot him. It's not going to change. So, uh, with that being said... You know, that's the, that's the one thing. I mean, it's the most it's 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 fundamentally so broken that I don't want to deal with it. Another thing too, I want to point out is like uh, when you take somebody did a video where they showed uh, what is it fucking delay fucking weapon delay animation delay a weapon response time to the controller. You know, I don't really give a shit about that. You know, if you look at your character and you fucking do your controller left or right and the, and the fucking weapon flops from left to right, I don't know anybody who's fucking going to shoot somebody in the real and their weapon is flopping left to right and if they fucking want to aim at somebody, look, if your hands are on the gun and, and you're standing still going left to right, you and your body are going to move with the gun left to right instantaneously because your fucking hands are connected to the weapon. And so when you pull up an ADS on somebody, you're going to fucking pull up an ADS on somebody. Not this fucking flop left, flop right, and then ADS. No! I'm already dead! This game reminds me so much of fucking Killzone 2, it's ridiculous. It has great sound, great maps, but the fucking mechanics and the design are shit. I mean, it's great weapon balance, but the fucking animations is trash. So anyways, with that being said... You know, I, I mean, pretty much everybody else uh, fucking should get it. You know what I mean? Uh, the weapons, I like the the RFB um, one-shot weapons. Uh, yeah, it has a lot of kick into it. A lot of people say, oh, the the, the MK14 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 had no fucking kick at all. Which, hey, it's a video game. I like one-shot weapons. Two shots, you should be dead. I mean, listen, if it's raining on the football for me, and I want to, if it's raining on the field for me, it's raining on the field for you. You know, I mean, can you imagine these two guns shooting at you and the fucking bouncing and all that shit? By the time you're fucking shooting all over the place, there's other people that are hearing you shooting and you're fucking dead. And you know what? You get frustrated and the fun value is gone. Another thing about this game, too. The learning curve. The learning curve is going to kill this game so fast, it's ridiculous. You know, we're talking about... It took me so fucking long to, to uh, uh, rank up weapons the sniper rifles. And by the time I reached the third rifle, fourth rifle, I realized they're all fucking trash. And it was just a big fucking waste of time. And everything else is, I mean, the assault rifles and SMGs are fairly decent, uh, uh, you know, ranking them up. But the fact that you have to rank up every little fucking thing in this game is going to kill any new people who buy this game and want to pick it up. Because here's what's going to happen. You're going to have dudes sitting on top of the hill, uh, figuratively, and they're going to have everything unlocked. And then your ass is going to join the game and going to get fucked up because you're going to try to pick something up, a weapon. You're not even going to get it. I mean, this game is so intricate as far as map designs and, and then when, when you're pressing fucking buttons and ladders and fucking elevators and screen doors come down and the maps change and you blow up shit and you blow up walls. I mean, you have to comprehend all that. Situational awareness of the map uh, comprehension. And then the weapon build models and comprehension. So let me say, oh, you get all that, and you fucking do all that, right? And then guess what? The new guy that joins, he's a fucking deer in headlights. He's gone. I'm taking my riddle back. And guess what? Those groups of people that you have there that are all fucking ranked up are going to be the only people on that game. There is no room for new uh, growth in this game. If you do not pick this game up, the very first two weeks of the game, you're going to get fucking dominated. And if you're going to get dominated, who the fuck wants to get their ass kicked? That's a problem with EA and fucking Call of Duty and Activision. They take something that was fucking simple. Keep it simple, stupid. It was working, and then they fuck it up completely. You know that this game, uh, with all of its innovations and shit, it's just like Killzone 2. It, they had a formula that worked. It was called Battlefield 2 Modern Combat. They fucked it up. And here we are, we're five fucking evolutions out, and it's still a fuck up. And now we're seeing the same thing happen to Call of Duty. Call of Duty 4 was great, Modern Warfare 2 needed some adjustments. 
I mean, you have every game they could have adjusted from. And now we're going into... I've I seen this fucking uh, shit. Well, I'm going to do a video on my main channel about fucking squads. Did you see the multiplayer animations? Oh, they're fucking terrible. Fuck's going on with these first-person shooters? I mean, what are you trying to do? Look at GTA Online. They didn't change shit. Better graphics, better everything. A fucking billion dollars sold. Listen, we're not trying to invent the wheel here. Make a fucking normal first-person shooter. I don't want to fucking fight Space Wars, 2100, whatever the fuck it is. I don't want to fucking have a, a, a realistic game where th that's fucking not realistic. I mean, it's just pathetic. You know, oh, you have, like, angle scopes, and, and oh, you can switch from the, the angle to sights, and blah, 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 and you can do this. But your guy vaults over everything. He don't never climb shit. And when he goes down the prone, he can't shoot, or... It's impossible for somebody to fucking jump in the air and shoot a weapon. I mean, come on. It's a fucking video game. You know, your interpretation of reality in a fucking shooter is terrible. I mean, these guys, they, they, should, they should just stop making Battlefield. Just fucking stop. Just stop it. Give it to somebody. Give it to one of your fans. Have the fucking fans come in and create the game for you. Because you don't know what the fuck you're doing over there. This game is so fucked up, it's just, it's a nightmare. Anyways, I, I did have fun with this weapon. I mean, there's only a couple, there's only a few bright spots in this game. Uh, I don't see anything improving. This is de demo, beta, whatever. It's a fucking 30 days from release. This is fundamentally, from the structure, the philosophy of the characters itself, is fucked up. You know, that's the problem here. Anyways, get the fuck out of here.